that up, will you? Will you have a piece of hazelnut cake? No, no, thank you. idea how much a bottle of Grand Marnier is worth, so you'd be more watchful of every drop. I'd make a very handsome pine tree. Mr. Mentley, all I have left is my personal savings account. That ought to help. To live out for the rest of my life. Well, it's something to keep you going for a while. It won't last any time at all, and you know that. Miss Tinsley. Miss Tinsley! I'm afraid I don't care for liquor. No, I still can't picture her drunk. Oh, she was, though, horribly. Otherwise, I wouldn't have discharged her. When referring to a cordial, we use the French pronunciation. Liqueur, Miss Tinsley. I shouldn't try to teach you any more, considering how little you've absorbed under my tutelage. <laughs> Don't go around murdering each other. You wouldn't know the word for parrot fever. Psittacosis. <laughs> oh, Mr. Simic. How marvelous to have an encyclopedic knowledge. Miss Tinsley. You promised to help me plant my pine tree. You've had such rotten luck with your housekeepers, Aunt Claire. Have I? Actually, I think I've done rather well. I don't believe I ever heard you mention money before. <laughs> it's hardly a flair, dear Mrs. Simic. Oh, I'm convinced of it. <laughs> Soap manufacturers put more scent in their samples than they do in the product they, s they sell. Mm. Mrs. Dimmick, are you aware that the cocktail hour has come and gone? <gasps> If you don't want the dog around, we'll work it out. But I have not taken loving and diligent care of my garden to have it wrecked by this vagrant bitch. I wouldn't have the nerve to bother you if I wanted to invest a mere dribble. Now, this won't sound like much to you, but I've amassed a goodly sum. Have you? How much, Mrs. Dimmick? Forty-six thousand dollars. <coughs> most recent boyfriend.
the bitter end, running off to fill my prescription, no matter what the weather, or your own health. You are the only mistake I made. Didn't you ever think you'd be found out? No, and I won't be. You're giving yourself away. To you, you are a dead woman. Oh, no, I'm alive, too. I'm very much alive. And I'm not gonna be your next victim. <laughs> and I took two pills that she... Oh, oh, that's quite potent. I still <laughs> feel rather groggy. Oh, Mr. Darrow, how nice to see you again. Is it left? She told me that she was so pleased to have found a neighbor she could confide in. 